Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Judy Poteet, and I am a licensed spiritual practitioner here at the Center for Spiritual Living, Greater Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me today as we move into this time of meditation, this time of reflection and contemplation. I invite you now to relax in this moment. Our theme for this month and for this year is living everyday wonder. Living in wonder, living in awe. So today's meditation is about awe. Now what is awe? The scientists describe it as a sensation, the awareness of being present to something vast, something huge, that simultaneously transcends one's understanding of the world. There is actually a science of awe, which studies the effects of awe, of wonder, of the benefits of noticing experiences that create awe. And their conclusion is that experiencing awe is profoundly beneficial. Awe is a wordless language. It's a language of experience, a language of the heart, the soul. It's a spiritual, emotional response to something that we see, hear, taste, touch, smell, or experience in any manner. Awe is a feeling of wonder, of oneness, of unity with the divine. It inspires and motivates. It is sacred, complicated, and simple, all at the same time. Awe is all around us. Every day it calls us to take notice, to pause, to look away from the mundane towards the mysterious, towards those magical and meaningful moments we sometimes miss. It is universal, and yet each experience of awe is unique to the individual experiencing it. Open up to the memories of an experience of awe. So I invite you to just simply relax, close your eyes, observe your breathing in a natural state. The rhythm, the sense of air that is touching you. And realize that air that you're breathing, that air that surrounds you is the presence of the divine the presence that is love, joy, peace, power, the grace and the wholeness and the completeness that is God. Contemplate in awe the trillions of cells in your body working in absolute order so that you may move and interact with your world. How awesome is that? There are so many things that are awe-inspiring. Imagine the skill of an Olympic athlete.
You might imagine the sight of millions of gallons of water cascading over a majestic waterfall. A Cirque du Soleil performer. flowers blooming, maybe even a December rose. Even feel the heat of the sun that traveled 91.4 million miles just to touch your face. Contemplate where you have experienced awe and wonder. It might be watching a sunrise or a sunset. It might be feeling the grasp of an infant as they hold your finger. It might be a walk in a forest 
or along an ocean beach. It might be a starry night sky or men walking on the moon or NASA pictures from outer space. even walking into a museum or a cathedral. might be to contemplate poetry, such as Angela Morgan's poem today. Oh, to be alive in such an age when miracles are everywhere and every inch of common air throbs a tremendous prophecy of greater marvels yet to be. And as we end this meditation, this time to recognize and realize the awe we have experienced in our lives and to open up to new experiences of awe, I invite you to take time to pause during your day and sense the holy in your everyday experience. Namaste.